Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tenerce the Human, and welcome back to our Holy Roman Empire Islamic campaign. And you join us outside Florence, where the rebels have sallied forth to attack us. You might remember last time we managed to smash all of Milan and finish off Denmark as well. So they've quite had a nice little start here. But yeah, quite a few problems with heretics and a, a general lack of our faith in the new territory. So, into Florence, and hopefully we can uh, have a bit of peace this time, but somehow... I very much doubt it. Most of the world seems to very much dislike us. Our reputation is actually quite good. We've done a lot of occupying and yeah, they just don't like us because uh, it's very hard, very hard. And that's how the game works. So in to Florence we go. Should be a fairly simple little sally here. Just a few basic lads. We'll shoot them down as they arrive. Jim will hit them in the rear. This won't last long at all. As for my standard tactic of these sorts of battles, I like to pull myself just a little bit away from the buildings, make sure those towers don't get involved in any way, shape or form. So, they're just sending all their men out in one big rabble. Utter nonsense the lot he is, isn't it? Right, uh, what's coming forward? Italian militia over here. I've got my archers actually out on this flank. Um, no particular reason other than I just want them to actually get some proper shots in. Should hit the non-shield side, so that should be fun, all things considered. Let's just get the general around the back at this point. Obviously, they're shaping up to come and charge at us. We might as well start hitting into some of these lads. So yeah, archers, you just start running off. We'll get these guys to start charging in. These guys won't last long at all. General's got himself caught because, of course, he did. They're so slow in medieval too. It's ridiculous. Um, still used to feeling the old Rome total war ways at the moment. We'll just get these guys to turn, shoot and these guys to go and smash into them. Generals charging in. Oh yes, nice little poke here are there. Nothing too dramatic, but it looks like oh yes, the silver surfer. <laughs> wow, that was that was even simpler than I imagined, ladies and gents. Uh, victory is already ours. Okay, well, that was simple enough. Uh, yeah, I think as we went into battle, he said, "No one will stand in the way of the Reich." And indeed, indeed, apparently that is the way this goes. So, everybody, you just start running into them. You guys, please make sure you do not shoot anymore. And the general will now just go and mop up anyone he can. Let's well go and stand this side of the gate, wait for them to come into you, sir. And they don't actually want to come in. <laughs> it's just a chopping zone now. Oh, I love it. They just stuck behind their own walls. Pookie -pook. Oh, we let them in. Uh, we will let him in straight into our general. So maybe go and charge them down, Mr. General, so that they don't fight and then kill us on the plaza. They will, they'll fight on the plaza now, won't they? Yeah, they will. They will. Go chop them all down. So it's been a sort of little start to us here today. What is the plan, you ask? Well, I don't know, to be honest. I would like a bit of peace, a bit of consolidation, because I haven't really got an awful lot of infrastructure built up so far. Um, I've got a bit. My money hasn't been that bad. We've taken Italy. That should solve a lot of problems, but... We need, to be, we need to be very careful because our relations are very poor with pretty much everyone. Nonetheless, the people of Florence love us. And oh yes, the uh, city isn't quite looking like uh, like the modern day Florence, but it will do. We can, we can make it into a beautiful, beautiful city. We will occupy, even though um, yeah, Florence is kind of quite upset. And uh, yeah, princess suggestion over here. Now he's 42, not a good choice. We do also need to, oh yeah, we should go and grab Corsica because then the Moors can invade us with 17 catapults and another three ballista because that's all their armies ever consist of. Yeah, that should be fun. Get involved in all of that heretic. We should go down. Oh yes, indeed he did. Lovely stuff. The mouse seems to be jumping around awfully, awfully speedy here today. So that is a guy called a jihad who's been uh, put to death for heresy. Um, heresy or for some reason just raising up a cross which is a little bit strange okay we have ourselves uh, Rudolf yes the great tales of Rudolf uh, the mines are coming in I think we've got mines being built in many many a city right now um, we need to get some basic stuff going on still though to be honest things are still a little pathetic around here get a shisha bar shisha bars are all running good to be honest we need the mashid firstly and foremostly Low tax rate will keep that sweet for the time being. And yeah, Venice are floating around, sniffing at the border. Sicily, poor relations, very poor relations, and so hungry. Yeah, not surprising really. They don't like us, and uh, religion isn't going to be helping matters, is it? No, it's not. Let's have an imam over here. We could probably do with 
perhaps starting to cause a few problems for them by spreading our religion. That'd be ideal now, wouldn't it? Bologna, Bologna, Bologna. You've got yourself your mind. A simple grain exchange for you, unless we need some money for other things. So you might do. Oh, this brings me to um, something else I've oh, noticed, by the way, in between episodes. Bring him over here. You can put up with a boat next time. Yeah, the boat. Um, this Middle Eastern boat, the Dow. Uh, this gets recruited under the label of Middle Eastern factions, as opposed to um, yeah, just literally labelling all of the factions that are Islamic. So. Yeah, we've now picked these up by virtue of our culture. Interesting little side note. Um, yeah, intriguing indeed. We can just afford a cog, though. I'll rather a cog. Are they actually better? I feel like they are, but I don't know. Five and eight. And you are five and six. Yes. Us Northern Europeans, we're much better at building boats. Probably, to be honest, kind of need to be because these seas are quite brutal. Anyway, uh, our house is doing all right. And I should probably, should probably do the sensible thing here and rename it because I will pronounce this wrong the entire time. So much like it is sensible to, I will literally name it Our House. So into Our House and uh, we will leave that for the time being. Oh, we'll no, head no. up further and further north in the time coming up. Uh, for now, what was I doing with these two? Um, so what happens when you record a week after the last episode? I don't remember what you were doing. Let's grab these chaps. Oh yes, of course, you're moving over towards Prague and then some of you down over here towards Vienna because obviously, yes, we're going to get attacked. Um, you sir, you sir, you sir. I don't quite remember why we're sending you up north, but we honestly could do with you up north in some place or another. So, I want to decide what we're doing. I suspect, though, probably a good idea to actually get someone back over at Stauffen because I wouldn't mind. Yeah, Metz is still rebel. Normally, um, burn. Burn is just ridiculous to take. I'm not bored about that right now. Oh, yeah, one of you can come oh, back here. Back. Oh, yes, what I wanted was good old oh, Anselm. You can come over there. Oh, Henry, good old Henry. We need you where you might better do some conquering, actually. I wonder if we're close to any jihads right now. God you won't have enough piety to do it, but it's also too soon anyway. So... Bearing in mind, we need to try and train one up to have enough piety for that. But, uh, if they convert him and they're getting rid of heretics, then they'll do a pretty good job of, of uh, yeah, getting themselves trained up in the meantime. So Maximilian Manduf has gained himself some extra command and yeah, picking up some nice chivalry, which isn't ideal. Probably should have murdered the town. Yeah, um, one thing I should really keep an eye on really is how much dread or chivalry these guys have and start role playing their character. Not quite uh, Crusader King's free level of really playing to strengths and ways you die stress, but certainly works better, isn't it, just to either go full on dread or full on chivalry. God Prefer chivalry, God. but if they're dready, best embrace the dread, I would say. Oh, so this chap is heading over to Magdeburg, oh, no. which is fine. You can go and get this border. Ah, Stettin. Yes, of course. We're going to have a Stettin very, very soon indeed. Not quite sure how we're going to get our troops together for that. We need a bit of retraining first. Might be worth just getting rid of the grain market here. See if we have enough in terms of our troops in this part of the world. Yeah, we're struggling to get our barracks actually. We need the mustering hall for peasants. And then, drumming on the building browsers. So, where are we? Garrison quarters gets a sergeant spearman. Okay. Okay, okay. We could get to that in time. Honestly, I'm not a big infantry fan. They kind of hold a line for me as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, these guys all being dead isn't particularly useful, things considered. No. Um, could I do this with just more cavalry? I wouldn't mind some more mounted sergeants, to be honest. This is getting more cav. I'm playing as the Holy Roman Empire, and might as well go with what works for them at the start of the game, which is just mountains of cavalry. And to be fair, 13 defence, 9 attack, 4 charge bonus. Not bad for someone with literally no abilities whatsoever. Not the worst benefactor here for good old Prince Henry. So brave marks of war. Yeah, why not? We'll sign you up. Good work indeed. Someone feels a bit less appreciated. Now, good old Agnes over here. We've been using her to go and have a little chat with Spain and Portugal. And she's got herself a little bit of charm now because we've got some nice diplomatic relations going with them. So we're just yeah. going to try and steal this chap way? over here. Reject it. Do not translate. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, how very, very sad. She didn't actually lose anything for that. Quite often you do. 
Yes, uh, this guy's quite good, by the way. One of the better guys you can go and try and marry at the start of the game. Good old Yahal. No idea how he's supposed to pronounce that. That was almost certainly wrong. This is probably the ow sound that you get in Portuguese. But there we go, Yahal. Um, there, rejected us, which is quite sad. She um, didn't pick up the bad trait for that, though, which is good, I On suppose. Maybe we need to get her charm up just Down a little way. bit more. Find someone else to have a chat with. How Portugal didn't get Zaragoza, I had no idea. England, very poor relations. Um, okay, apparently we, we've had literally zero contact with them the entire game, but okay then. We'll go along with that. Right, sir, you go and grab yourself. Do we want to get any mercenaries here? Don't know. Let's go over here to Oslo. I seem to recall this is a pretty annoying force to deal with. We can go and get ourselves... Yeah, we'll just go load around. So we'll probably just besiege them out here, though. We can go and get ourselves a few more troops. If they sunny forth, what are the... Oh, yeah, this is the Viking Rose and the Militia Lads. Um, if I was to face them one-on-one, -on -one, the Cavalry could definitely win it for me. But I'd like to... No, not that. I'd like to get some spearmen just to hold the line. There we go. I'd feel comfortable then with three units of spearmen hold the line and my... Uh, cavalry doing that so we'll just use those guys wow look at all the stuff i'm doing vienna has mines as well it's mines ahoy right now and those built up around the world town hall is always a very solid idea um actually just come to that moment uh, one thing i haven't checked is quite how it works with uh building the building i think it's when the building's complete when the game does the check for their traits but um building town hall i know it's came up quite a lot in terms of a uh, very helpful trick so we'll make sure you take the best use of that venice uh, military better than mine only people with better military than mine yeah uh, i realized i'm probably going to send those two generals and take up this chap but oh well uh that's been done now prince henry instead i'm going to send him down this direction perhaps to innsbruck for the time bit oh the moors yeah the moors of yes confused me with a diplomat sadiq yes we're your friends no Muslim friends, please be friendly to us. They're going to attack. They always come and land here. Um, I guess we're going to have to go take course in a, in a while anyway because they're going to kill us either way. I have no idea what we want. Let's get some roads. Roads are a good solid decision, aren't they? Um, wouldn't mind the highways, but honestly, just some of the basic things. The council chambers, very helpful indeed. Shisha bar, just go and spend the money. Actually, where I do need to spend a bit of money, perhaps, oh, is okay. over here. Yeah. Would like to go and besiege Stettin. Now, guessing they've already attacked it. Can't actually tell. But I feel like they fancy their chance against me. Honestly, with all this cav, I don't think I even need the uh, these chaps over here. I was just going to keep the money back in case I wanted some of those mercs. But those mercs are quite happy, all things considered. Uh, get the roads first. Roads, 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 roads. Just roads ahoy right now. And go and get ourselves few more imams up in the north good our boat's probably going to get smashed up by those uh pirates who always just run the sea around here until you can be bothered to stop them um oslo got there before the scottish which i suppose is a good idea and have ourselves a nice stretchy empire north to south long long borders with everyone just what we all want eh, ladies and gents um i might well send they couldn't even make it because of those on moors oh well you know what it's not a problem we'll just leave them there for the time being i do have a diplomat i wouldn't mind going to talk to you because the princess over here isn't really going to reach you anytime soon actually uh, i missed all these moorish diplomats on my way how did you manage that my good dear i'm sure she's the best princess she'll win over yahow yahow um at some point we'll win him over we'll win his heart Apparently Henry's just desperate to hire all of his mates and not actually have any children, which I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad, really. He has got planes, so uh, essentially ugly. Um, not not the best, to be honest. Um, not fan of that. But Marks of War, Noble in Battle, pretty useful things. He's, he's nice enough, all things, because he's just going to hold back. I want to go see what we've got in our family tree here, Henry. Yeah, I thought you'd already brought all your mates along. What one kid out of you? You're still 29, and you've got some good genes. Really, uh, yeah, you've got healthy. Um, although, to be honest, the rest aren't really inherited, so that's the only properly, well, the sort of one that's really going to follow down heftily, and I'd rather that work, so we'll keep holding back on that. Agnes really does need to get married. We are very short on proper family here. Um, 
We do have Leopold over in this direction as well. Okay, things going okay. Stettin's under siege, then actually Sally Forth, needed Oslo. Both of those can die in time. Keep the boat there just in case. Relations worsened with Byzantines. Yep, it figures ready, it does figure. Um, in general though, I'm okay. We've got ourselves our mines. The merchant is getting better. He's now a capitalist. There's a Frankish guy over there we can go have a nab of. Lovely stuff. I didn't see how much the money just went up by, but it was well and worth it. 40% was a bit of a risky affair, but uh, you'd go for it. Low chance that you'd actually get yourself destroyed. If he's got five, yeah, well worth going over there. They're worth 45, but yeah, this bit over here is worth ridiculous amounts. Mind going to take off snipe the odd merchant on the way. Vienna, Vienna, Vienna. Get yourself another merchant for the time being. Oh, look at all of those. Dirty, dirty road. Filth. I, I love it. Right, more, more mines. Some good territory here, actually. I never realised just how rich all this territory was. Huge amount of mines. It's just so underdeveloped. And I do find they tend to not really get round to developing it right um, at a good point of the game. Right, I did get myself an imam. I should probably go and take out this chap before it becomes a problem. So we'll just send him in that direction. And over here... Hmm... Yeah, I've just got to try and build up where my board, natural borders end. There's a lot of rebels to deal with, which is going to make me quite reliable by, yeah, by uh, occupying, as we discussed last time. That seems to be the case. And the problem is that's going to make the conversion... It doesn't know, actually. Does the amount of population matter? I don't think it does. I don't think the bulk of the population really matters for conversion. It's I'm pretty sure it does in terms of the public order problems. But, yeah, just in the sheer terms of... Uh, Converting percentage wise, it shouldn't is make a, a difference. So, is there a son in my family? Uh, well, say, to be I honest, good old Maria, you are the jewel of the Mediterranean. Well, perhaps, but you only got two charms. So, uh, on that note of charm, uh, there's a Moorish diplomat. Good old Agnes. Yes, let's have some trade rights. And I'll tell you what, we'll offer you a tiny bit of money just to make sure that you like the idea. A well considered offer, thank you, thank you, you thank you. Of something right, more. we will offer you map information. And let's have a little bit of money, but let's not ask for too much. Let's just say 600. He still claims that to be generous, so I'll keep it as a generous offer. Marvellous. Lovely stuff. Good old Agnes. No, it wasn't a good enough deal to get any more charm. That's annoying. We'll have another chat with Spain next turn and see if we can rack her up to five. If she gets us up to five, she should be starting to pass on some nice traits to her future husband. Yes, we'll get you yet, sir. We'll get you yet. Now, in terms of battles, um, I'm getting itchy for a battle. I feel like Robert Baratheon, just baying for blood. It's a boring day until I've tasted blood on my sword. So, um, yeah, let's go and smash up some rebels. We might be skitting through a few end turns here. We'll, we'll see what comes along. Wow, I was not expecting this, but the Byzantines have landed at Bologna. Um, okay, I forgot what... I was going to say, I forgot about Rome. I forgot what Total War does to you on Very Hard, Very Hard. Russia demand things. Okay, just have this it. Why not? I just, I could do it I not annoying everybody. Well, uh, God, the more's about. Everyone hates you. Everyone hates me, you, everybody. Oh, uh, gosh, this is Total War, isn't it? I suppose the clue's in the title. Anyway, um, yeah, when I said about fixing diplomacy on this game, uh, what I've done is I've fixed my reputation, but unfortunately, because I am a Muslim in the middle of all of this, everyone hates me anyway. Plus, uh, yeah, this is not a good betrothal for good old Agnes, is it? Relations worse from Spain to very poor. Oh, this happened as well. This is this is good. <laughs> oh, you got the Muslims attacking me as well. Oh, it's a blockade. Of course, it's a blockade. Um, so, 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 this is the sort of thing that happens when you're playing very hard, very hard. Something that the AI would never, ever do, even though there's no reason it shouldn't just go and do this, because as far as they're concerned, I guess Italy is the area part of the Roman Empire, which is, yeah, we kind of call them Byzantines, but, um, really, they spent a lot of time just calling themselves the Roman Empire. I'm not really sure when that stopped, actually. I should look into that. Yeah, this, uh, as far as they're concerned, I guess, is theirs, so, um, we better do something to defend it. Looks like they're going to not smash it themselves in pretty soon. Unfortunately, yeah, Prince Henry is um, up oh, here with his cab. He's not quite near enough just yet. 
get there in a turn, but that might be too late. Ballista, the Byzantine Cav are pretty nice. Um, can't do a lot unless we go take up the uh, the Moors in the meantime. That could be a bit of an awkward one. And now we've got, we've got heretics as well. And he's way too strong for us. Okay, we can spread heresy so long as we maintain having uh, all of the Islamic stuff as well. That's fine. Just convert the non-Muslims to heresy. That's... Uh, that's absolutely grand. How is heresy looking here, by the way? Oh, only five. It's only five percent. It's not a problem at all. Our money's looking good now, though. Our money's good. We've got heretics everywhere, and everyone's waging war of us. And uh, yeah, that's that's totally the game right here. But yeah, we'll actually get ourselves some spin militia over here, by the way, because we could actually do with hiring some infantry, some point of the empire. And as for you, sir. Yes, I could probably do with getting some troops out here. Castle upgrade, good plan. Mounted sergeants, yeah, no actual um, infantry still anywhere. I just don't bother with it, do I? Not as these oh, chaps. Like right, well, we got ourselves a merchant, which is good. We'll continue to train up some of our lovely Kaiser. chaps. Go over to the silver mine. Have a good bit of money. Yeah, Just a little way. peruse with our chap over here yeah. before we head yeah, over to this way. chap. This chap? This little bit of gold. Lovely stuff. 197 a turn. Can't really shake your nose at that. Time I think to head in and it's going to have to be these guys because they're the ones in the way. I mean the army, not these guys. Give them a poke. Ah, it's just some cavalry. It's not even a proper general. What even is this right here? It's a nuisance is what it is. Fine, 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 fine. I'm pretty sure the general can take this out himself. Come on, Heinrich. Time to go and slay some um, yeah, fellow Muslims. Maybe we should update their flag. Do they know we're, we're, we're Muslims? I don't know. Uh, this is a bit of a pain, isn't it? Let's go kill them. <laughs> Sorry, look at this guy. <laughs> I'll let him talk. Oh, wow. I stand before a magnificent company of imperial soldiers. For the Empire! All that can be done is done, and only battle remains. Look to your arms, and prepare your soul. <laughs> if our Moorish foes had any sense, they would flee back to the scorpions and snakes that bothered them. For shame, they would not face the poorest bohemian peasant. Let steadfast men at arms such as you. Now, when he says that their fathers were scorpions, that explains everything. That's why it's all they bring to battle. But any man here who is not praying for our victory had better make his peace with God. For he'll find none with me or in any imperial land hereafter. Now, bring me my broad sword. You already hold it, mate. Then. Let me kiss our holy banner. It kind of hasn't been updated, but okay. In the hands of the Lord. Yes! Al Akbar, etc., etc. Right. Into battle we go. Magnificent. Not very racist speech for a change. That's unusual for Medieval 2. Normally it's just filled with, yeah, utter filth and drivel, to be honest. But uh, yeah, there'll be uh, none of that today. Just. Just some brilliant, brilliant speech by the demonic. I mean, the silver surface. And then there's whatever this is. Emperor Heinrich. <laughs> what is this man? Uh, I love it. I'm not going to go change the textures, ladies and gents. That is absolutely priceless. Let's head into battle. Down go the desert archers. Not used to the brutal rain that is northern Italy in the winter. So they're already gone, which is marvellous, marvellous good news. Um, right, these guys are just wandering around. Let's just get a charge in them, honestly. They're, they seem out of position. As long as we can charge them, not them the other way on us, then we can do this. And I have no idea what I just said. It feels awfully like we are at the horse races right now, because that's how the country felt. Um, these guys aren't going to last very long, Arab oh, Cavalry, Light like Cav, against the heavy chaps. Like Probably, though, I need to be ours. slightly careful with my general. Charge into those desert archers again, clear them off. My general should be absolutely fine to do this by himself, but we'll just get the spearmen to do their work in the meantime. Stabby, stabby, splatty, splatty. And hopefully we'll do the job here. We have been chunked down just a tiny bit more than I would like. Um, yeah, desert cav over there, probably just going to do a horrible, 
horrible charge into us at this point. So let's just slow this down, see what's actually happening here. Yeah, spread out a little bit. Spread out. Ah, they stopped charging. Good news. Ah, uh -huh. oh, they're, they've got javelins. Okay, that's a little bit of a shame. They are now broken, which is good because we're pretty much dying at this point. There's quite a few men, not particularly, uh, particularly good battle in some ways. No, it's fine because it's only my general. He will miss these guys as they probably try and flee. Does it can Hopefully, he can get taken out by us in a few moments' time. I think those, yeah, those archers are completely gone at this point. Obviously, we get ourselves the marvelous no music that is the Middle East and stuff. It's fun, day. dramatic stuff. Look at this sky. I mean, this is 2006. I mean, the moon's a little bit wonky. That's probably my widescreen when we're not supposed to have it. But uh, there we go. Marvelous stuff. Captain Joloff Rice has been taken out. That wasn't racist. That was um, just a play on words. Thank you very much. Um, right. What do we have here? Ransom value. Just ransom them back, honestly, because they get back on their boats. Lovely stuff. Relations worse with the Moors, even though I literally just... Um, Emperor Heinrich is feeling unappreciated. Um, oh, now he doesn't feel unappreciated. Okay, his loyalty is growing. Well, that's good, because he's literally the Emperor. What we do need to do with you, though, sir. I can't make it to Bologna either. Right, well, these guys are the only guys who can make it. I completely missed the trips in Florence. You can obviously totally make it. Anyway, we need to go deal with those chaps anyway, so it's all absolutely fine. So we'll send these guys over here, move this chap out of the way, because he's, yeah, quite rude. We'll let them try and break in if they want to. Um, I say that, we might as well just go and slaughter them, to be honest. Let's just head into this guy. Captain Ballista over here, and some of these guys are going to be an absolute arse to kill, aren't they? Seems sensible just to take out the Ballista nice and early on, so we'll get the poke into them. These guys are just going to run away and be as difficult as possible. Just hope really that their arrows... Don't really do very much against all of our troops here. So we'll just kill off these Ballista. The rest of the troops will one day make it to the battle. I had another unit of archers. Maybe i try and shoot them down. These guys, for some reason, aren't actually dying as quick as they should. I just find Ballista last surprisingly long amount of time. I guess it's because the percent of the troops are uh, living for longer than you've realised. Right. Let's go and grab ourselves our infantry. Start heading forward. Are they just fleeing the battle at this point? That's good because I really don't want to have to deal with them. Let's. <laughs> okay, we scared off more and more men out of Northern Italy who've decided to invade us. Not the people I was expecting to invade us in Northern Italy, though. Behold, Must be said. Ah, oh, there's not much we can do to press the attack. attack. He's actually quite blooded. Wow. Almost lost the general there. Yeah, in the battle. They're done. Yes, we should. Um, Hold back on that line a little bit, as I keep reminding you, sir. But, uh, yeah, with the extra victories comes a little bit of that. So, <laughs> must have no money, because the AI pretty much always, always automatically accepts that kind of situation. So we'll go and get ourselves a new Imam over here. Actually, I was supposed to get them in Genoa, wasn't I? Because in Genoa, you have yourselves the guild. Yes, I should really look into a guide on the guild at some point. Um, in terms of in depth, how they know. I know Melkor did a little video on that, but um, yeah, certainly some. Uh, it's more of an overview, really. It'd be quite interesting going a bit of extra depth for it and really look at the proper triggers and the way it works. But um, some of them are quite intriguing indeed. I think particularly on the, the Camel Union campaign, some of the things that go on on that one is particularly bizarre. Right over here, we have ourselves a heretic. We didn't quite reach him. Okay, well, that was a bit anticlimactic, wasn't it? Venice haven't yet stabbed us in the throat, but I think it's coming. As of Vienna, honestly, Town Guard over here isn't the worst idea. I probably could do with some infantry. Although, again, my feeling very much is that what's the point when you just hire these guys? These guys are better than pretty much anything you can hire for a while anyway, so why bother? But there we go. We will vaguely bother for the time being. We will get ourselves some land clearance. Is it worth doing that? Probably, even though we can get the castle if we just saved up a tiny bit of money. Uh, but we'll just make sure most things are building something. Still lots of basic buildings to get all over the place here. So, um, But with the mines coming through, looking very good indeed. Yeah, a few random invasions aside, things are looking all right. Is it more of them over here, by the way? And the remnants of those chaps. Yeah, we're going to have to be very careful about this because very hard, very hard 
game does love just dumping random boats at you. Um, particularly, yeah, if you, you might have noticed on the uh, guides, on the guides on like Carthage, like turn four, the bridge eyes land over here, and then play this Greece, like this this Julie eyes land over here, like turn ten or something like that, and the Brutti eyes just ignore uh, over here and just go straight down from Apollonia over to uh, Termon. Ridiculous stuff, but that is. That is the game right there. So uh, Stettin's going to fall. Oslo is a few turns away. Why it's growing slowly? And then it's Stauffen. Let's just work out what we're doing, really. <laughs> Here comes the standard thing that does also happen on Medieval 2, which is you can kind of cheese the game with these random invasions. Particularly, I remember when I played Portugal, Scotland would invade me at Wren all the time. And basically, I'd batter them off in a bloodbath of a battle, and immediately I'd get about ten thousand denarii from them. Denarii, well, whatever, florins. Um, you get a load of money off them for peace. That is still, <laughs> that is still generous. So yeah, I can just just ask for silly amounts of money here. Let's just try like three and a half thousand. See if they'll go for it, and if they do, we we'll, uh, just do that. Easy, there we go. Until next time, <laughs> Big pile of money. For a pointless war. Let's go into Stettin then. Go and deal with these good old rascals. What have you got to show for yourselves? Good old Captain Nikolaus. Ah, very. they are damaged. But they are experienced as a result of it. So, uh, a good old charge will do them in. But we, yeah. Glad I didn't just uh, try and smash down the doors. Because we would have pretty struggled against the experience. Always bank on the experience on this game. The rebels are solid to say the least. Why we pretty much won the campaign in what, 13 turns was it? I don't know what it was. I think I'd pretty much taken um, taken out half of the map by that point, and I? It was a bit ridiculous. Anyway, over here to, uh, spoilers by the way, you should have watched my Level 2 series on the Rebels if you haven't already. That's uh, that's pretty much the mainstay of this channel here. Let's head into Stettin. In we go, and oh, our Soviet tits for the good old Steve there. That was a lovely charge. Good work. That's yeah. That's the peasant archers, largely dealt with before anything's even happened. Um, these cav haven't quite got the charge in that I was hoping for. But to be honest, by the time the generals got into the rear of them, they'll pretty much be done, I reckon. Those archers can go over here. These chaps can come into that position, and yeah, they're already broken. They're pretty much done, and we'll just send these chaps in to fun up and finish off the job. And as ever. Putting them out. Yeah, the Sally Sally doesn't work very well. Good rock there. Good block by the rock. And that is marvellous stuff. They actually managed to survive that surprisingly well. Uh, you guys get into the back of that town militia. Get our cab out there. They don't need to be getting stuck in forever. They're going to get themselves killed if they're not careful. General, you get yourself over in this position. Yes, it covered. He shall die. Right, they are... How are they not dead? Oh, there's apparently a few peasant archers who aren't breaking, which is surprising. Yeah, you go back and kill them. And to be honest, it's another battle here that is falling straight into our hands. Nothing too much to worry about here. Uh, yeah, they flee, they flee, and they come back out. And soon they will flee once again. So you guys go and charge straight across the face over here. And you'll pretty much pick these guys up as they head out of the town. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't going very well for these guys at all, is it? I reckon at this point we just... Yeah, we just walk in. Good work, sir. Good work. Look at that beautiful drapery on the horse there. Oh, we are such a magnificent and beautiful faction. Gold and black. We are like the beautiful wasp of the world right now. Everyone hates us. But we sting them in the face repeatedly anyway. Lovely stuff. And with that strange and unplanned analogy, we have ourselves the the terrible, terrible wooden castle of Stettin. In fact, it's not even that ready. It's just a modern baby at the moment. All right, we'll get that upgraded. It's going to be our border. So we um, better get that sorted pretty darn soon. I'm just going to get this guy wandering off a tiny bit. Where is the border? It's quite a long way away, actually. So I wouldn't mind... Ah, that's for that's that's no, that's a different border, Thomas. That's Thorn. They still got Thorn. Ah, interesting. But we'll go and plonk a tower over there, and we'll worry about uh, everything else in a few moments. Good work indeed. So hostilities cease. Yeah, they give us a huge bucket of money because they're utter gibbons. 
face uh, faction thing. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this is the other reason everyone hates us, by the way. It's because you just started such a powerful faction. Um, I haven't really looked into this, or I haven't really commented on this quite a lot. But um, yeah, certainly when you look at the game files, the uh, the triggers for once you hit number two or number one at these things, basically, <laughs> the penalties are so huge diplomatically that I stand no chance. Especially when you start as the biggest faction. Um, yeah, we're we're not we're not really going to be making friends in this game. And that's absolutely fine. Okay, this is a port over there. I'm not sure at Hamburg we're really going to be needing yet to stay as a castle for very long. So I'm not going to build any specific castle buildings there. But uh, I could do... Get out of the way of Prince Henry. It's fine. He doesn't need to be wandering into that territory right now. He can go the long way around because I reckon we have time. Although this guy is now floating around. don't really like that. But I don't have a lot of choice at the time. So, be a little bit careful about all this. Okay, we have these guys. Unfortunately, they're on a boat, so it's hard to talk to them. Although, it's the diplomats right here. Let's, uh, yeah, there we go. They have a similar thing. Give us 4,000, yes, silly, silly sausages. And they think that's generous. <laughs> Give us map as well. Very well. Okay. So they haven't gone down to Tim Buck Charlie yet. So, uh, yeah, Tim Buck Charlie's still under rebel control, which is beautiful. These are the starting settlements. I haven't got Tunis either. Interesting. Um, now, because we've called a jihad, obviously the game hasn't done its standard. Ah, ha, 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 ha. We can call a new jihad, ladies and gentlemen. This is marvellous news. No idea what I want to call it on, because right now I honestly have, like, um, yeah, no real target to take on. Unless I, I could have just gone straight for... Um, yeah, Tom Stantonopel. That could be fun. <laughs> ah, yes. Go second crusade. I mean, Jihad. I'm sure that will go marvellously fine. But we've got a load of money. So let's go and have some fun with the big piles of money. Honestly, this place, I'm just desperately trying to get it built as quickly as possible. Get the mining network, Thomas. That will just roll itself into extra, extra monies super quick. Get the conversion rate going. Build the new temples, just keep building them, get more mines. Only 120 there, but even so, even so, more and more and more. There's a load of castles I needed to build, and I'm now not doing them. So, that's a shame. But we are already building basically all of those towns. Oslo's not far away, Stettin is getting upgraded too. So it's only pretty much Prague, which isn't doing anything right now. Which, yeah, get yourself a new temple. That's a lot of money, but we spent it all fairly wisely so I'm quite impressed with that that's going well right we better ponder our little next jihad by little I mean significantly large where can we go to Baghdad no I'm not in the mood for Baghdad or Jerusalem they're both a bit pointless Constantinople though Venice Krakow Hmm, Budapest, Rome, Antioch, Lisbon. Not Lisbon! They're like the only people who don't hate us. Ah, the Sicilians of Tunis. Go for Tunis. I could... No, the Moors just attack me again. I could go... I wouldn't mind actually going for, like, Palermo or something. Or uh, Naples, to be honest with you. Um, I wouldn't mind doing that. But at the moment... Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm going to ponder where we're going to take that one. Byzantines are now at war with Hungary instead of us, which is grand because I could really see them attacking me before long, but that has not happened. We have ourselves a pretty solidly safe Vienna, one turn away from the town guard to at least try and improve that. The merchant over here, Mercatel Genius, well they've done well for themselves. Let's keep pumping them out of Vienna, might get myself some guild chaps. Um, certainly building yourselves a load of merchants does help. should probably... Get myself a market after if I want to make that happen. And yeah, some heretics floating around. Don't want these guys, they're getting in my way. That was a very low chance. I really shouldn't have clicked on that. Should train them up. This guy, yay, victory. Yeah, this guy actually failed on the end turn. So marvelous stuff. Wilhelm von Herse has been killed. Marvelous stuff. Ah, oh, yes. And the Daughter princess. The Come on, marry the chap. Yes. <laughs> yes. Lovely stuff. Relations worsen with Portugal. Well, it's fine. Everyone hates us anyway. Marriage celebrations. Ah. Yochmahal has married Agnes here. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Apparently, we got married um, 
in Portugal in a very Catholic ceremony. But uh, all is grand, I'm sure. I'm sure we had a nice Muslim ceremony too. Leopold feels less happy oh, now, like... but that's absolutely fine. We've got Yahal into the family, and wife is fair. Ah, yes, increase the chance of having children. She was a nice lady. Not enough charm to um, really be boosting him in terms of his actual abilities, because you can get some lovely, lovely boosts from it. I think on the count, does it count my union? I managed to get a couple of princesses with like eight and nine ability. That was fun. Um, yeah, wife is fair, gives you increased children chance, which is ideal, actually. So, we've got this chap who, uh, guard dog, promising religious, nobody rules, he proper. Now, it doesn't say he's Catholic on this. So, yeah, he's just, um, he's just a Muslim now. This is good. This is good. Nice matrilineal marriage here, and he's now joined our faction. He might well need to be hiring those mercenaries. <laughs> Ah oh dear, has um, Valencia fallen? Cordoba, I can't see Valencia, and I have information from uh, from both Spain and the Moors, so I guess it's not. We can go kill El Cid. We could be the Muslims who take on El Cid, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think we might be doing that next turn. Okay, we'll go grab some forces and do that. That sounds like a lot of fun. As you might well expect, the troops in Oslo want to give us a bit of a fight. They are, yeah, decent as they go for rebel forces, but I reckon with these knights we'll be able to charge them down without too many problems. Let's head in. In we come. The knights are going to charge straight into those Viking raiders, and they don't really like it. They don't like it, but I do need to pull out so we can get a second charge in. Nice bit of work delivered there. General needs to go and smash up these crossbow militia because that will very much help us. That's a good break or two. Pull yourselves out of there. You guys, turn yourself back around for the second charge. You chaps head into these guys. Just get everyone running in. They won't last long at all. General, just pull out for a moment. These guys can head back into their flanks. And that is everyone pretty much gone. Oh, I do like a good Sally battle. It's, um, it, it always feels satisfying. I'm not quite sure why it does. There we go. General is hopefully not going to get himself killed. He's not in the best position, but um, I'm sure it's absolutely fine. These Viking raiders are... Okay, you weren't supposed to turn back to them, but it probably will convince them to turn and flee very, very soon. We'll go and get our infantry to hit these guys in the back. That's pretty much the end of it. General's running back inside the town. Yeah, I feel like we've seen this battle a few times here today. Lots and lots... There's lots of rebels being slaughtered. Let's just end it there. 12 more. Very efficient victories here for us today, ladies and gents. I'm impressed indeed. No need for any such weird exclamation as uh, those we saw heard last time. Saw heard last time. Yeah, we had some odd battles, uh, particularly in Prague last time. We'll just occupy for the time being. The betrothal for... Oh, we finally going to get married. Here's our lovely... Lovely bride dressed in the bright pink. If you've uh, if you've watched the um, what do you call it the oh no I meant to change that round. Yeah, if, you, if you've watched. All right, I need to explain what I'm talking about. Um, in the guide video, the the princesses. If you uh, give them the skin that the princesses of the Middle East faction are supposed to get, yeah, you you kind of get the pink diplomat from Rome to War. So this feels ideal. I was supposed to change the princess round by uh, by episode two. So. So that you could see the ridiculous princess. But um, oh well, I forgot. It's in the guide video anyway. But here she is. This is what she's supposed to look like. But instead they look like a pink diplomat. So we'll get him married. Theologians Guild in Milan. Honestly, I uh, don't know. Because I've already got one in Genoa. And I'd rather, to be honest, I'd probably... Yeah, really, I want it that the other way around. Because this is great for trade. Um, and I really want the merchants to go there. Oh well, not the end of the world. Moors and Sicily at war. I thought it was me for a moment. You're a spy. Um, I'm going to send you around to Venetian territory, actually. I do know what's going on with you. Marriage celebrations. Prince Henry finally gets married. He could have one child because yeah, he's just brought all of his mates along. Get ourselves more and more merchants. I was expecting a merchant's guild. It's still not happened for me. So I'll keep on hiring them until we get enough points generated so more on the silver lines where's my other chap ah you are not quite actually on it yet are you there we are 197 a turn that's not the best in the world it's not terrible either you sir you look vulnerable don't you 
58% chance. <laughs> tasty, tasty stuff. So another acquisition for us there. Definitely worth playing the merchant game. I notice this every time on Medieval 2. But people abuse them way too much. They're incredibly powerful. Let me answer Majid's. We've got ourselves castle upgrades. Um, lots and lots of stuff coming through for us at this point. More and more mines. Why wow, there's so many mines over here. It's utterly insane. Get ourselves a watchtower. Um, this is quite a funny position. One. Ah, there you go. There's Thorn. Thorn is finally falling to Bolslaw Herman. It's not having a particularly good game, I'm guessing, by the looks of that. Right, over here. Over here, over here, over here. Um, lots of random things to do with our generals. Things looking in the green. Blonde is ready to upgrade. Honestly, we should probably just spend all of our money on that immediately. So, if that's come together, to make sure I've got enough troops to defend myself down here, because I kind of feel I'm quite vulnerable, actually. Um, town watch, not really. Town hall would be good. What can I do here? What can I do here? You can see town militia, but honestly, I can already get those. That's just more free in terms of... Uh, yeah, the upkeep. Okay, I need to go and focus on this chap over here because he'll be annoying them right now. We can't afford that much, but I wouldn't mind, yes, going down to Valencia potentially. Could be an interesting thing to do. Now, I don't remember if it changes across the board here. It doesn't. It's not the same mercenary units. I'm just going to get myself over to the bridge here. Might well annoy them, but if I uh, go attack Valencia, then maybe I could jihad over to yeah, Lisbon. This could be a good way of doing it. I'm just going to spend my, all my money on that guy next turn in order to do that. 7,000. Yeah, I'll buy up all those mercenaries, head down to Valencia, take on El Cid. This time, the Muslims will win. And from there, we can also do jihad at the moment. This bin sounds tasty, but uh, I don't really know if that's a particularly sensible choice. But it's, um, it's probably rather thin in that part of the world, but oh well. Frenchy, 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 Frenchy. Can we have some map information? Let's just have a nice chat. Lovely stuff. I already sold it to them earlier. Have they seriously not got Bordeaux? What are they doing? They've lost rent to the English. Okay, gives me a good idea what's going on in this general part of the world. Yeah, Metz and Dijon are both not taken. As well as Burn, obviously. I've just been ignoring Burn. I don't know if the troops deal with Burn at this point in time, so I'm just going to keep on ignoring that. Um, they've got Marseille, though. The French, honestly, are having a terrible game with the looks of things. Bruges and Antwerp are still rebel. What are all these factions doing? They're just sending random boats up across the world like the Byzantines and the Moors just going to attack me. They're probably, yeah, they're probably all just surfing around the sea ready to dump their troops by me. That, I suspect, might be what's happening. Merchant Guild in Milan, what we've been looking for. That's good news indeed. I could do with a bit more money coming in. Yeah, again, I'd rather that in Genoa, really, but at the end of the day, not the end of the world. I do need to get both the Merchant's Guild here. Oh, yeah, the extra bit of cavalry. Not a, not a bad thing. Uh, I do get plenty of cavalry for me, but yeah, Defence 14. These guys aren't the... Well, I mean, to be honest, they don't really do the one thing you're supposed to do with cav, but as a kind of a cheap force that you can uh, get with your garrison, the free upkeep, and, you know, they can do it with running down, so not a terrible, terrible idea. Right. I think it's probably just about time to end it up for today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what we need to do, then, is hire up all of these guys. Thank you very, very much. Down to Valencia, which... Yeah, it looks tough and indeed it is tough. Um, a boat we can get and that's it. We'll just besiege it. We'll keep it under siege and we'll go and conquer that. That'll be magnificent stuff. Hamrick the Honourable. Lovely, lovely. He's 49. Look at this. It's absolutely magnificent. We need to make sure he's got things to do. He's um he's getting incredibly strong over here. Look at that. Spymaster, yeah. Um, yeah. Such good authority. This is absolutely bonkers. He's magnificent. So, next time, next time, next time, we will be able to call ourselves a jihad on somewhere. I don't know where just yet. We'll figure that one out. Um, but certainly, certainly, it's going to be the tale of El Cid and not as we know it. We're just going to send this mercenary band with this Portuguese chap that we just married. And, uh, this is going to be absolutely magnificent. Apparently he's ignorant, which isn't ideal. But um, at one level of ignorance, I think you can still bring it back. So hopefully 
all will be fine. I think it's been a good day. We've mopped up lots and lots and lots of the map. We've gone up to Oslo here. Should probably get this chap back safely on the boat. Dump him over here by, uh, by no, dump him. Thank you. Yeah, we should get these guys sorted out, retrain what we can, uh, head over to Stockholm and tie that one up because I can really do with that being one of mine. It's a very, very rich region indeed. Things looking good. But um, we have seen with the Moors and the Byzantines how, yeah, the everyone hates you thing is kind of very much ruining its head, which is a little bit disappointing. We're actually very reliable, I will remind you. Um, things are vaguely working from the bug fix, but um, yeah, we're just too powerful. The world hates us before we've even begun. But uh, yeah, we will leave all of this silly little nonsense over here in the Iberian Peninsula for next time. But now, Olivi, I'm Thomas. This is Tenosa Human. And if this is. Yes, and this, of course, of course it is. So obvious that I can't even pronounce it. This is our Islamic Holy Roman Empire campaign. Thank you and goodbye. Go, my puppies, go. Hunt down the German dogs. My chariots are complete lunatics. Stop charging into the spears. Stop charging into the spears. Why do these guys not break? Everyone else has fled. Go home. Go home. What is happening at the chariots?